Hey everyone, it's Luke here. Uh, today you could probably say that I am making this video from the grave. Because if you didn't already hear, there's been some pretty big news that came out today. Dispatch revealed that Kai from EXO and Crystal from FX are indeed an item. Now before I get into all of the details on this, I have to go on a little bit of a rant. You guys maybe don't know, but Crystal is one of my favorite idols out there. I've considered her as pretty much my ideal type, my only ideal type for a really long time now. <laughs> and it's kind of sad because I didn't talk about it a lot in the hopes that, you know, if I talked about it, then it was kind of gonna screw something up. That if I did meet her someday, then at least in a twisted way, I thought that if I kept quiet about it, that if I met her someday, it wouldn't be so weird, you know? I wouldn't be as obvious as a fan. I wouldn't be super creepy having gushed about her so much. But now that she's off the market, I guess, no. That's even less of a reason to <laughs> fanboy over her, I guess. But you know, I will keep supporting her. That's kind of what I'm making this video about. But anyways, I will give you guys a few details on this. So reportedly they've been dating for a little bit of a while now. They were spotted by Dispatch back in February in LA. Supposedly Kai and Crystal went on a date after EXO wrapped up their LA stop of the North American Exolution tour. And you can see there are some photos here. I kind of feel weird sharing this because I sort of encourage people to respect people's privacy, but I honestly don't know if people would believe this without the pictures. So, and honestly, the pictures are quite adorable. I do have to admit that, you know, there are people talking about how he was wearing a flannel shirt that she was later wearing as well. And, you know, you can't deny those are kind of relationship goals, goals that will never be achieved by the likes of me. <laughs> but, <laughs> Here I am talking about someone else's relationship to a camera. Anyways, I came to the realization with this event that I am just as much trash for K-pop as everyone else watching this video probably is. I didn't think that I was like other people, that I would freak out if one of my biases started dating, but I guess I never really understood that feeling until it happened to me because I held Crystal on such a high pedestal and those who are close to me definitely know that I made them aware of that for quite a while now but like I said I didn't talk about it because you know it felt weird if you have a crush on someone you don't write a Facebook status about it I was delusional okay I admit <laughs> the funny thing is that I thought if I only had one ideal type and one like ultimate female bias that I was safe because the odds of something happening with that person were low, if it's just one person, right? I guess the lesson I've learned, you know, don't put all of your eggs in one basket and don't become one-sidedly romantically involved with an idol or someone that you don't know. <laughs> all in all, I hope that people will respect this relationship. They are humans after all. And one of the things that I've really noticed with this is that people seem to be handling it a little more maturely with a bit more respect than other relationships we've seen in the past. And one of the reasons why this one is so significant is that it's only the second time that a relationship between two SM idols has been revealed. It does feel like a game changer for me, you know? I will still continue to support Crystal, and I don't know Kai that well, I don't know his personality that well, but I have no complaints about Kai. I think he's very handsome, seems like he has a nice, fun personality, and they seem like they'll look good together. Not that looks is the only thing that matters, but you know, I, I respect it, I support it. And as time goes on, I think fans of K-pop groups are starting to understand that these idols are humans, that they have desires just like you and I, and that we should support them because we like them as people and for their talents and their skills and their personalities, and not because they're some sort of fetish or like romantic thing that is filling the void of your soul. I don't have one of those, right? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this relationship in the comments down below. Uh, what do you think their relationship name should be? Even though I find those things kind of creepy. I think we should try to let them be, but it's fun to talk about. Hopefully they don't mind. <laughs> also, one of my good friends, Christina, is starting up her reaction channel again, so I just wanted to let you guys know about that. I will leave a link to her new channel down in the description. Other than that, that's everything that I had to say. I will be looking forward to your comments. Uh, yeah. Now, I shall mourn the relationship that I never had. Okay, that's it for now, guys. Stay awkward, and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>